It's all about tradition. We visit the home of German cuisine here in the Philippines, Broadside. We talk about old-fashioned Chinese home cooking at a hotel in Makati Sipster District, the Poblacion. And we talk about fine dining. It's not as formal as it was before, but still as delicious at Flame at the Discovery Premier. All that and more in this episode of Let's Eat Frost. World Cup Fever. What better place to watch the matches than here at Broadside, whose cuisine features that of the defending champions, Germany. Today, we discover German cuisine and German beer. Prost! The distance between the Philippines and Germany is over 10,000 kilometers. But here, in Broadside, with one bite, with one sip, It'll bring you instantly to Oktoberfest. This international franchise is now all over Asia, from China to Australia, and now Manila. My new friend, Chef Wolfgang, flew in all the way from Singapore just to show us how to cook Broadside's signature dish, the tastiest, crunchiest pork knuckles ever. We have import beer from Germany, we have our own spice mix. And then of course, what we do is we mix the beer, we mix the spices, and then we have here already the ready mix one for our pork knuckle. You see here, very beautiful meat, nicely cut. So what you do is you take your mix, then you take your knuckle, you put the mix on it, and then you massage it in. It. And then we're marinating it for 24 hours in the fridge before we're roasting it. And then you see we are only putting it on both of the side where is the meat in the thing. And then what we do is we are putting it up nice straight, letting it rest. Then what is very important is because it's moist. When you have a moist skin, it, not, it does not get crispy. You need to dry the skin and then you bake the final stage is the baking of the skin. And it is very important to get a nice crackling because like Germans, like Philippines, we love pork. We have pork is something oh, awesome, like the CZ, you know. Very important is you have the crunchiness, the crispiness of the skin. After marination, we have already roasted the first stage, and then we have the beauty of the pork knuckle. First stage from the oven, we take it out, we let it cool down. Now what I do is I take a knife, a nice sharp knife, and I cut the skin nicely. And this one makes a very big difference when you, when you uh, make the crackling. And you see, I don't cut through the meat, you know. I only cut the skin. You see here, we have the straight cuts. And then to make it easier later to crackle it, we make one nice, a gross one cut. Nicely around. See, and when you have it, your first cook, it's easy to cut. And then of course, when you cut all of them, the most important thing is later when we, when we cook them again, we put them back in the oven, we put beer. We put it in the oven, and then this one is the outcome. Beautiful, nicely roasted. But this is not the finished product. The finished product, I will show you later, outside in the restaurant, the nice, crunchy, crispy skin, you know? Let's go through the items here one by one. This is a platter, this is a feast. What do you call this? Okay, this is the goat's head platter. Okay. Uh, and then the feast is, what is very important for us is, is bring people together. Yeah, food brings people together. And then what we have is sharing is caring. The spices are all imported from 
from Germany. Okay. They follow very strict the, the regulations. There are no fillers in the things. There's 100% mm. meat inside. How many kinds of sausages do we have here? I can run you through. Mm. We have here the Weisswurst. We have the garlic. We have the traditional Nürnberger. Mm. A nice cheese sausage. The spicy chicken. And then also here in the bottle we have the rice washed in the in the stock. Okay. And then of course over here we have the lamb sausage. The lamb sausage. So it's a quite yeah. nice variety of different types of proteins, chicken, veal pork mix, pork mix with cheese and lamb. Whenever I'm here to go outside, more often than not, I, I have to take order. Now. Yeah, you're jealous now. <laughs> I order another Blumberg burger and a beer, and, and I'm happy, right? Uh, what do you have this with traditionally? Okay. Do you have this with potato, sauerkraut? Yes, we have here our sauerkraut, mm -hmm. we have our here the potatoes. Mm -hmm. And then of course, when you see here what we have here, mm -hmm. we have sweet mustard, okay. of course we have uh, chili, mm -hmm. and then we have hot mustard. Okay. And then is is just to I'll look... Eat this. Yeah, just, I just want to explain to you. Yeah. When you see it comes in the broth, and then also is, what is the very interesting part is, I love it. They're whole pepper. Yeah, corns, they're actually. Bay we have bay leaves inside. We have mm. peppercorn. We have juniper berries, yeah. and then we boil it up. Mm. We actually boil it up. Then, after boiling, we add in the sausage mm. by 80 degrees, and it's 12 minutes. Okay. There are some ways. Is you cut off here. Okay. You cut it off here. Then you put it in your mouth and you suck it off. So you, yeah. it's almost like squeezing. And then the you, last you're squeezing the nice things outside. The, the nice. Thing. Demonstrate it for the camera. Yes. So I'm just squeezing it gently, not forcing the issue at all, and it pops out. It pops out. Yes. So it's a beautifully, perfectly cooked sausage. Yes. So no casing, just the no tender. casing, just you've the got inside. the herbs, you've got the spices, and where do I where do I dip it? In the in the in the, in the sweet. sweet mustard. Very good. We both love pork. We both love our beer. And we love our food fatty, crunchy, and hearty. Filipinos and Germans, we're more alike than we think. And what brings us closest together is our love for the same kind of food. I show you something. This is the so gravy. This is something rib. very traditional. This is very traditional. Mm -hmm. And then we also have the pork ribs. Mm -hmm. The pork mm -hmm. ribs, they are nicely roasted in an oven. And what we have is we have a Bavarian honey glaze. A Bavarian honey glaze. Honey okay. glaze. The big problem is a lot of people use brown sugar. Right. They're using a lot of sugar, and then you don't know how many calories you dump in your body. Okay. What we do is we actually making a healthy version oh, out of healthier. it. Oh, it's healthier. It's much more healthier, much more. It's like, not they, fried. We're using honey. Okay. We're using honey. You know? Okay. And then, all, of course, here the good part is you don't need to import the honey uh, from Germany oh, yeah, because you have awesome yeah. uh, honey in the village. Right. And this one coming to the key point in Schweinsachse. This one is, I always call it, the sound of roadside. What you do is, you just take this one, you move it up, you turn here, you see how this goes, and you just pull it up. You see this one? And this is a sign to perfectly cook pork knuckle, you know. Nothing sticks to Nothing it. Nothing right? sticks on it, and you see it comes out smooth. Clean you know. and smooth. And then the next one is you just make one cut here, you turn the second one. Okay. You see, you put, now, turn the now whole you're thing out. All the tender, yes, the meat, the everything. Meat. And then wow. this is the nice thing where you can showcase actually to all the people you know how to you eat German food. You're the expert in pork knuckles, you know. You see, you put it on the that's, side. That's very exciting for me. You put it on the side. I've been eating here for five years, Wolfgang, <laughs> and I've never seen it done that way. It's a chef secret. It's a chef secret. <laughs> okay, now I know. Can you cut a piece for me? Of course, you know. So I'm like, you see, we have the uh, sharp knife here, but you actually don't even need the sharp knife. Yep. I would just tear it up. Man. Yeah. You just tear it up. And this is the nice thing with German food. You can use your fingers, you know. Yep. You see, what I do, I just tear it yeah, off. Yeah, just tear it off. Don't and then you, you listen, listen. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. So Prost, my friend. Prost. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Germany in the World Cup. You better repeat. Yes. Okay. Sharing is caring, as Chef Wolfgang loves to say. And even though German food is very different from Filipino food, both are best enjoyed 
when they're shared and enjoyed with family and friends. Cheers, mabuhay, prost!